What is up everybody? It's Rev Time and today we're checking out Rage Against the Machine. Early Rage Against the Machine. So we're uh, looking at uh, Killing in the Name of. Now it's interesting, uh, uh, Tom Morello, he's a killer guitar player because he's he's got chops for sure but he was just um, so different. And when I thought about kind of covering this thing, uh, it was interesting because uh, one of the guys that works for Rev, this guy named Kyle, he had mentioned, and it's something I hadn't thought about that much, was the fact that, you know, it was crazy that these songs were so angry and, and the way Tom was playing was all on like a telly neck position. It's like, who'd have thought? And it, it kind of dawned on me. It was like, wow, I didn't even think about that because I wasn't like this massive study of like Rage Against the Machine and, and Tom Morello as much as I, I thought he was great, but I didn't pay that much attention because I, you know, there were times when I was like, oh, well, I can see him. He's playing kind of a super strat looking guitar with humbuckers. And then I'd seen him with Les Pauls and hollow bodies with humbuckers. But yeah, early on, and even, you know, later on, he was still basically, you know, it was a Fender Telecaster in the neck position. And I was like, man, I, I just, I guess I just didn't think about that. So it kind of, furthered my uh you know kind of piqued my interest in in the idea of you know using a telecaster to do some fairly you know angry stuff you know <laughs> And then, you know, at the same time, the more I listened to it, I was like, well, that sounds pretty bluesy, you know. Um, you know, so I was just like, wow, there, there's just elements, I guess, of, of Tom's playing and even, you know, the Rage Against the Machine you know, music that I, I just wasn't as uh, cognitive of until Kyle had brought that up. I was like, wow, it's kind of made me think about, you know, as great as they are, it kind of made me think about things a little bit differently as far as what uh, Tom was doing. Now, this is not a video on how to play anything like Tom. Only Tom can play like Tom. And, and Tom's already done master classes. So I'm the last guy to say, here, here's how you do it. Um, I don't have a clue. Okay, where was I? Uh, we're back to a Telecaster on what would not be considered a Telecaster thing. You know, for me, Telecaster is or I mean, at least that's the, you know, you know, what people, when they see Telecasters, they, they think, 
you know, country, but they really do rock. How did I get those sounds? I actually used two channels this time. So on the right side of the mix, which is going to be over here for you guys, because if I do this, then you guys are going to see it. Anyways, on the right side of the mix, there's a guitar that's brighter. I didn't change anything on the guitar, uh, so I used uh, channel three. You can see right now that the gain isn't super high. We're going for a bunch of gain. Trebles at noon, mids a little less than noon. Now bass is off because uh, you know you don't need a bunch of low end, especially if you're neck position. <laughs> So that's how I got there on that tone, no aggression modes. And then for the left side of the mix, I actually went to channel two, the green channel, no aggression mode, and I actually dialed it kind of wooly. two channels together sounded really cool and and it's one of the few times I actually hard pan things left and right and then of course for the solo I had to find my whammy pedal I was like where's my whammy pedal I can't find my whammy my you know and I finally found the thing and I was like well this is which is this the whammy four or three two the thing with whammy pedals is they are not your grandpa's wah pedal and I hadn't used mine in forever hence the reason it took me a minute to even find it but that solo and once again no, I did not play that right. I did my best. But for the solo, uh, I stayed on channel three. Now, whammy pedals make things, you know, it's, it's cool. I did a two octave up whammy, so. All I did was I rolled the tone off on the guitar. So that when I, rolled it all the way up, it wouldn't be super harsh. So we had the, uh... And it, it seemed to work okay. And you can tell at the end because I, I shut the whammy, I didn't shut it off, but I rolled it back down to just the, you know, standard octave. And you can hear that it sounded darker than this. And it's just, at least for me, it just, when you're gonna use a whammy pedal. You know, it gets, if you're gonna roll up, especially two octaves, it can get fairly harsh. So that's, that's what I did uh, to achieve that. With cats like that, my opinion has always been Yes, I could probably figure out how to do that, even with all the, the trickery and the magic that that dude came up with to get all those sounds. But um, you always have to keep in mind, could you have composed that part? Could you have actually been the composer of even that sound? You don't have to have like, you know, it's not all about... It's not all about like mad, like chop, that wasn't a mad, but you know what I mean. It's not all about like the skills thing. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, what comes from, you know, a really, really great guitar players is how they came up with that. The, the fact that they composed that part, they like even that solo, it's like Tom composed that solo. I know that I wouldn't have done a solo like that. I'd have done some sort of outside uh, blues thing. <laughs> Which might have been cool, but I don't think it would have been anything like that signature uh, solo. And that's, you know, that's what, you know, makes uh, guitar players stand out is just being uh, different. So anyways, let me know in the comments if you guys, you know, are Rage fans at all. Uh, you know, what do you think of Tom and his playing? Um, you know, uh, whammy pedals. You guys use whammy pedals? I have mine. I keep it around, I almost never use it, and this is a fine example of I almost never use it because that's how terrible I was 
using it. It's, it's not a wah pedal, so rude awakening. Um, and yeah, uh, Telecasters. Talk to me about Telecasters. Or do you guys do like high gain on Telecasters or even just high gain neck position anything, even a humbucker? I'd love to hear like what all you cats are, uh, are using. So as always, thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.